Group content in Ultima Online offers some of the most dynamic and cooperative experiences in the game. Whether taking on powerful bosses, fighting through waves of enemies, or competing with other players, these events foster teamwork and strategy, making them highly popular among adventurers. One of the most challenging forms of group content is champion spawns, where players must clear waves of creatures to summon a powerful champion boss. These spawns are a test of endurance and coordination, often requiring players to balance offense and defense as they face increasingly tough enemies. Once the champion is defeated, it rewards adventurers with gold, special power scrolls, and the coveted chance at a valuable artifact. Recently revamped on Yo Alive, the champion spawn system now offers guaranteed rewards for group play. When two or more players team up, each will receive baseline scrolls for defeating the champion, with the possibility of extra scrolls depending on how efficiently the group progresses through the spawn. This encourages team-based gameplay, offering significant bonuses for players who work together, such as a greater chance of obtaining a rare 120 power scroll. I'll leave a link in the description to a video that explains champion spawns in Yule Alive, made by the developers. Another thrilling aspect of group content is IDOX, or In Danger of Collapsing Houses. These events occur when a player's home collapses due to inactivity, making house contents available for the taking. Waves of powerful enemies must be defeated before gaining access to the loot. Groups prepare and strategize, waiting for the house to fall to claim the treasures within. Participants engage in various actions, dealing damage, healing, or using pets to qualify for loot. Once the enemies are defeated, a chest appears, and each player's loot is provided as an instanced container, based on their participation, ensuring fairness. The event is chaotic yet rewarding, offering groups a chance at rare items and valuables in a competitive environment. I'll also leave a link in the description to a video that better explains IDOX, made by the creators of You Alive. In addition to large-scale group content, Ultima Online also offers smaller group activities that provide their own unique challenges and rewards. Shadow Guard is one such activity, featuring a series of themed encounters in instanced rooms. Each room has distinct mechanics, such as puzzle solving or enemy waves, and requires a coordinated group to complete. Once all the rooms are cleared, players must face Minax, the Enchantress who summons four lieutenants that must be defeated. Tamers are well suited to the final room as these bosses tend not to summon helpers if pets are used. Shadow Guard offers high-level loot, including very rare and sought-after artifacts, making it a favorite for groups of two to five players seeking focused yet rewarding challenges. Another notable small group challenge is Korra the Sorceress in Dungeon Covetous. Korra is a powerful mage who guards valuable artifacts such as the Prismatic Lenses and Hephaestus Shield. Groups need to work together to overcome her as she has the ability to drain mana reserves of all those near her, making it difficult for melee characters to effectively use their special moves. While the encounter can be tough, a group of around three can defeat her quickly and have a good chance at acquiring useful melee items, making Korra a target for smaller parties. Whether it's a champion spawn, IDOX, seasonal events, guild activities, and more, Ultima Online provides endless opportunities for players to band together, overcome obstacles, and share in the excitement of the game's most thrilling moments.